Thank you for logging on with us here at 41NBC.com. I'm Melissa Lee. A fire destroyed two businesses in downtown Eastman Wednesday. It started at Sue's Fashion on the corner of Main Street and 3rd Avenue. The flames then spread from Sue's, which is the building with the blue awning, to a second business next door called Lunchbox at Roy's. Both businesses were destroyed. A third store had smoke and water damage. Now, Luckily, everyone made it out of the buildings uninjured. The cause of the blaze is still unknown. A small jet with seven people aboard crashed near an eastern Georgia airport Wednesday night. Five people were killed, according to the McDuffie County Fire Chief. Now, two people survived, including the pilot who reportedly walked away from the wreckage. The plane apparently overshot the runway at the Thompson McDuffie Regional Airport and crashed into some trees about 30 miles west of Augusta. A judge ruled Bibb County Superintendent Dr. Romaine Dalamon must be added to the lawsuit that alleges the school board illegally approved his contract. Judge Ed Enos ruled Dr. Dalamon is a necessary party to the suit. He says the plaintiff, Bibb parent Thomas D4, has 21 days to add Dalamon to the list of defendants. Dalamon will then have 30 days to respond. And coming up on Friday, the Bibb County Board of Commissioners is meeting to discuss Senator Cecil Staten's proposed legislation. Now that's set for 9 a.m. in the commissioner's boardroom in downtown Macon. The Georgia Court of Appeals has temporarily halted today's execution of convicted killer Andrew Cook. Cook is arguing the state is breaking the law by using pentobarbital, a drug that essentially euthanizes the inmate. They say using it is illegal without a prescription. Wednesday, the board denied Cook's clemency request, but right now the execution will not happen tonight at 7 as previously scheduled. Macon police arrested a wanted man during a traffic stop. 22-year-old Deontay Coker was pulled over Tuesday, and police say at first he gave conflicting information. The officer called for backup. A second officer smelled at marijuana and fingerprinted the driver, which revealed he was in fact Deontay Coker, who was wanted for a carjacking in January. Coker was taken to the Bibb County Jail. We are days away from the deadline of those vast budget cuts, and local businesses are preparing for the worst. The sequester could hit local businesses around Robbins Air Force Base very hard. If the furlough plan takes effect, nearly all 800,000 workers will lose one day of work per week for 22 weeks starting in April. That's 20 percent of their pay over that period. Nearly 14,000 employees at Robbins Air Force Base would be affected. Local leaders got a lesson on how hard it is to balance the federal budget. Congressman Sanford Bishop hosted an event at Vineville Academy in Macon to review the current budget and come up with ideas on how to reduce the deficit. He asked those in the group to weigh all the political pros and cons of each decision. Bishop says the activity is a great way to get the public involved in policy making and reducing the deficit. As an effort to make make and bib consolidation smoother and more transparent for residents, the Knight Foundation announced a big funding boost for the project Wednesday. Macon Director of Public Affairs Chris Floor says the $62,200 grant will purchase new equipment to stream and archive all meetings online and to hold forums where, where residents can ask questions. A consolidation website will also be created. A sub shop is heating up the Dublin Fire Department with a major donation that will save firefighters' lives. Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation donated $19,000 worth of new life-saving equipment to Dublin firefighters. Ten men got new suits called turnouts, which protect them from the heat and flames, and they also received new helmets. Since 2005, the foundation has donated $5.7 million to hometown heroes across the country. Those are your headlines. Be sure to join us tonight for the news at 6 and 11. Have a great Thursday.